What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is we live or die by the code. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. So last night, I threw out some Netflix. Those of you guys that listen to me or know me personally or whatever, doesn't really truly fucking matter. I'm not big into TV, I'm not big into movies, I'm not big into any of that shit. What I'm big into is at the end of the night when I'm done from exhausting myself and exerting every ounce of energy into my code, which we're gonna talk about here in a couple minutes, I like to block some shit out. So we throw on this movie, I'm putting it on there, it's called Wanted. Now, I get into it and I start watching this thing It's about assassinations and guns and killing and shit that I'm interested in. And we're going through it. My fiance and I are watching it and we're looking at it together. She's into it. And I find myself at moments with my jaw dropping, like watching these things. She's like, isn't that badass? And like, we're going back and forth. And I'm actually focused on this, this video, right? Or this movie and I'm watching it. I'm thinking it's fucking amazing. But there's these subliminal lines inside of them. Okay. These, 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 these stuff about this fraternity and this brotherhood that this guy was called to be in. And it made me think about what I'm doing here in my life. And at the end of the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it, maybe you've guys seen it, whatever. At the end of the movie, she does this really wicked thing where she like whips the bullet around and it shoots in a circle because these guys' names were all called and they were all supposed to die. And my fiance tells me this, she lives or die by the code. I'm like, fuck, I didn't see that coming. And I thought about the importance of my journey. The importance of the hundreds of men that are going through what we're going through right now. See, what I've come to realize is that this is a code of ethics that we live by. I'm going to explain to what it is here. You may or may not know it, but I live by a code of ethics every single day. My core values, I implement them in everything I do across the board. The problem here is I'm going to go against the grain of what AA says and what typical people think about when it comes to drinking. They want you to say you're powerless. I will fucking tell you the exact opposite. This code of ethics is core values, if you will. These things are meant to draw the power out of you, to show you that this struggle that you've been through is your biggest strength possible. But it's up to you to figure out if you want to accept these things into your life. So I look at it and I look at all I'm doing and, and I'm, I'm getting excited after we get done with the movie and we're by my wife, let's call her my wife now. But she asked me, she's like, Let's go, uh, let's go get some ice cream. Now I'm not eating ice cream because I'm in the middle of a, of trying to drop some pounds for a wedding and look good, feel good, but you know, she's tiny, so she can do whatever the fuck she wants. And we're in there and we're driving home and we're talking about shit. And I realized it dawned on me, this code of ethics that I live by, what I'm trying to do here is bigger than money. It's bigger than changing your life or the next guy's life. It's literally meant to change the fucking world. When you give the ability to empower yourself, and look at everything that you've been through as it's actually a positive. Now, I know right now you might be thinking, like, how, how is cheating on my wife been a positive? How is getting fucked up and getting a DUI a positive? How is fucking puking every single morning a positive? It is. It really is. If you decide to tap into it. Think about all the stuff that you've done inside of your life when you've been sedating yourself and blocking it out, working double fucking hard to be able to get through the day. To be able to just to get to that next drink. How much energy, how much mindset, how much willpower did it actually take to live like that? It's a ton. I literally look back at some of my things in my life. And the amount of effort that I put into living to be fucked up was way harder than it was to choose to live by these code of ethics. So I want to talk about living and die by these things. The seven core values of my company, seven core values of myself, the seven core values of this comeback movement is faith, finances, family, fitness, future, freedom, and foundation. Every single day, I implement these things and hundreds of men do as well. But I realized that it's bigger than just implementing those. It's believing. It's truly submersing yourself in the fact that you have a gift. That you're not diseased. You're not broken. You're not a fucking loser. You just haven't tapped in and harnessed the strength. You haven't exercised the right to let go. This morning, I'm just going to give you a wrap into how I've been able to implement these seven apps. Number one is faith in myself. The first thing I do is I got up this morning and I went 
and I started writing down. I started meditating. I clear my mind. I believe about where the fuck I'm going. I spent 30 minutes of my day to, before I do anything, just focused on myself, getting rid of these dirty thoughts, getting rid of the same shit that goes through you, focused on winning. Second is my finances. I have a fucking shitload of things I need to do today. I'm on the way to the airport, as a matter of fact, as, we, as we're filming this, to pick up a guy to come down to scale and add a coach. I have another guy who drove eight hours to actually talk to me for a couple hours to see if he could be a fit into my program or to fit into my company to actually help expand this thing. So I'm focused on that. And then third is my family. This morning when I got up, as I'm getting the coffee and I take that ride, I'm clearing myself. I go in, I picked, I picked up Kendra some flowers. I picked up a car that I wrote to her. I grabbed her a coffee and I did these things because it fucking matters. Before I filmed this thing and took a shower and got here, Bailey combed my hair. I took the time out of my day to fucking focus on my family. Fourth is the fitness. Before that, I literally fucking just destroyed my shoulders, my triceps, and then boxed. My goals are written for my future and I don't have one fucking negative thought. I'm, I'm, I'm exercising and practicing my voice to share for you guys. That for me is the freedom. Now to be able to expand this thing. My point is this. Where across your life are you not living by the code? Where across your life and your mindset, your focus, your family, your fitness, your future, and everything that I just talked about, are you not living up to who you truly want to be, living up to your potential? And if you are part of my program, why? When she shot those people around and she died, there was a symbolic fucking feeling I had inside of myself. I'm willing to burn this whole fucking thing down on the ground. I will never go back to who I was. Every single day, I strive to be a better man. Every single day, I commit to myself. I commit to this comeback. I commit to these core values, the comeback seven, this foundation that I'm building, just like you can. Today, the question is this. Do you want to give yourself the chance to empower yourself? Or do you want to keep fucking fighting it? It really comes down to the choice. The question inside of your life right now you need to ask yourself is, who am I? What the fuck have I done? Fuck this alcohol that keeps holding me back. Fuck these negative self-talk thoughts. Fuck the stress from the business that I have. Fuck these friends that are bringing me down. Fuck fighting with my wife and need to put this marriage on fire. Fuck everything I need to make a choice. We're here, brother. It's up to you. If you'd like to speak to myself, my team, somebody about your comeback, click the link or type this in. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. We will take some time out to be better than I found. If you've been listening and listening and listening, is today your calling or not? We'll be here when you're ready. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I wish you all the best today. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode.